So I had this question posed to me about double salary. You guys have heard me talk about the PA specialty and how we can work in two different specialties at the same time because of the lateral mobility and also the fact that most PAs are making like six figures or above. And I had a question asked, well, are you making double salary? So for instance, like $240,000 as opposed to the 100 in one particular specialty. So that is what I'm gonna be addressing in today's video. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's Adana and welcome back to my channel. So I have this question posed and I told you guys all the time you better leave me a question because if you don't leave me a question then you won't get an answer, right? So you gotta leave a comment in the comment section below to get your questions answered. But um, someone left a question on my previous video, one of my previous videos and I thought like yo this is a pretty dope question so let me answer it. Um, so I'm gonna answer this question for you guys. The question says, it's from Odilea DR. Uh, it says, this might be a dumb question, but if you're a PA and you're working in, let's say two specialties at once, are you basically making double the salary? Like if you're working in a dermatology and emergency medicine, would you be making like 234,000 a year? I'm a high school student and the PA profession really interests me. And um, I just want to say kudos to you first and foremost uh, that you're in high school and you already know about the profession and this interests you. This is great. Um, I wish I had knew about the pre pre I wish I knew about the profession when I was in high school, but I didn't. But you know, doesn't matter. I'm here now. Um, so it's it is cool. It's a cool question, but I just kind of want to break it down for you. So. Ultimately, I mean, technically, yes, you can make $234,000 a year if you're working full time in both specialties. And then I guess you could also make like a high amount if you're working like part time slash PRN, but you're picking up lots of hours in your secondary job. Um, because usually when you're working as like a part time, especially in like something like urgent care, you get paid really, really well. But we have to be realistic here. So, I mean, as a PA, you're working the same amount of hours as you would, like most most jobs, right? You're working like a 40 hour a week, um, maybe 72 hours for the full two weeks, but it all kind of comes out to be 80 hours for your pay period. Now, to get that, you can have that in various different ways. You can work three 12 hour shifts, as I've talked to you guys about in, um, you know, when I was doing my critical care rotation. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead, subscribe to my channel right now so that you can see all of these videos that I post in the future and then all the videos that I've posted in the past. You'll get notifications for them as well. But I talk about the three 12s where you work three 12 hour shifts, you're on for three days and then you're off for four. Um, you can also work a 24 hour shift like I'm working where you only work, you're only obligated to work, let's say three days, three 24 hour shifts in a 14 day pay period. Um, obviously some people work more, but you know, you're only obligated for the three. And then you have your typical nine to fives or your eight to fours or your four tens. Um, but there are various different variations of how many hours you can work and how those hours are structured. Now for you to actually be gaining that full like salary for both positions, let's say you're in trauma, like which would lend nicely to um, what you're kind of trying to allude to and urgent care. If you're working like three 12s at the urgent care, then you're able to do that in working a 24 hour trauma shift. Now, is it gonna be easy? No, you're gonna be like killing yourselves, okay, you guys? You're gonna be working, you can work like, let's say like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, your 312s back to back, and then you can work like Friday for your 24 hour shift into Saturday, and then you have your Sunday off to kind of recover, and then you work like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you're gonna have to work like you're either that Thursday and Sunday or that um, Friday and Sunday in terms of your 24 hour shift. Now that's a lot of hours and obviously you can do that if like you're young, you're fresh, like you really don't have any like obligations, you know, any type of responsibilities in terms of like a family like or a significant other because you're gonna be working 
constantly. Um, but it's doable. It's just like, I don't think sustainable for a long period of time, but that is the way that you would be able to get like that 200, you know, sometimes even $300,000, um, a year if you're able to sustain that for a year. But I really don't see that being sustainable because it's a lot of hours and it's very taxing. Like the 24 hour shift is extremely taxing and you need those extra like two days or so to recover from that 24 hour shift to really enjoy yourself. Now, you may not necessarily be working um, three twelves and getting your two hundred and thirty-four thousand uh, dollars, but you have the opportunity to work in, let's say, a shift that allows you three twenty-fours or three twelves, and then you pick up extra shifts um, on your side job at an urgent care or in the ED, and you're working like maybe two shifts a week or so. That is a little bit more sustainable because you have a, you still have more time to yourself. You still might just be working four to five days a week as opposed to every day of the week and you have that recovery time built in because when you're on your three twelves for the 24 um when you're on your three 24 hours there are shifts where you're working two 24 hour shifts in the week and then you know the next week you're only working one so it's sustainable in that way but honestly like let's be like being completely truthful and honest with you um i do not think that it's sustainable to work two full time PA jobs and in two different specialties uh, at all. Um, and I, I mean, unless you're working like from home at night, like you're on call or something, then, you know, those are the areas where it kind of gets murky and you're able to kind of sustain that. But honestly, if you're really going into the office or into the acute care setting at like the hospital or, you know, the urgent care, no, you're, it's not sustainable. So no, you're not gonna be making like $234,000 working two specialties um, full time, but you could absolutely get to that if you have like your side hustle like most PAs do, like get that to university. Um, or if you're, you know, you start your own business in terms of like a home care service or something like that, a lot of PAs go into that or start clinics. Um, and then you're, you're doing your own thing as well in terms of your own practice that you're actually like, you're practicing. So you're the career that you've kind of entered into whatever field or specialty that may be, be it derm or emergency medicine or, you know, pediatrics, whatever that may be. But hopefully that answered your question. It was a great question. Um, I like the way that you're thinking, you're, you know, hustling, you're trying to make sure that you're able to kind of make this money. But honestly, like depending on the type of life that you're trying to live, I would suggest that you get a job that gives you the salary that you can be comfortable with. And then, you know, you can pick up like little side jobs here and there, like once or twice a week. Um, and then you'll be able to like really sustain yourself. All right, please leave your comments in the comment section below, you guys. I answer these comments, okay? They help bring me content. I really appreciate that. Um, also, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Follow GTCU at Get That C University on Instagram at well, as well. And uh, be sure to check out what we have to offer on the platform at GetThatCUniversity.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.